How you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Billy Riggs. Leo. We have, yeah, Leo and I are exhausted uh, because we had a day, we had a weekend in Seattle that didn't go as planned. Um, and, and we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, here later on in the video. But we're here, we're safe, we're healthy, and again, I'll, we'll, we'll, tell, we'll fill you on on this huh. story. We're here. We're tired. <laughs> that's that's for sure. But we wanted to do this unboxing video while everything was still fresh in our mind. We have too much stuff to show off. Um, hilariously, most of it is edible, <laughs> right? Because you're gonna be like, man, those guys know how to snack. And it's not for a lack of trying, it's just for a lack of, there's too, so much great stuff out there. So we've got to moderate, of course, take our time with it. We're gonna be comfortable with Sadly. it. We're going to we're going to mix it in with uh, with all the other stuff too that we're showing off. So, and I've got some great some great video game pickups and, um, and some more stuff that maybe you didn't even know existed. Lily. What is that? 60 scrunchies. This uh, right here in this bag from Amazon is 60 scrunchies. Do you know what it isn't? An Xbox Series X. This is the true story. L every, every once in a while, my kids will put something in my Amazon cart. And they'll be like, hey, let's look at it. And if you want to order it for me, you can. If not, you know, I, I just want you to see it. So what happened was the Xbox Series X went on pre-sale. I saw it. I clicked on it. Pre-ordered the Xbox Series X. Go through the checkout. Done. This was in the cart when I did my pre-order. And then the hilarious thing is the Xbox Series X apparently wasn't. It was. I hit pre-order. I hit checkout. Everything was clean. And I went back to it. And it's not there. But this is. So this is proof that it was kicked out of my cart. But for some reason, we have 60 scrunchies. One's in my hair. One of okay, so fifty nine scrunchies, all in a bag, and I but hope you enjoy. I'm not, I'm not mad that I bought the scrunchies. That's fine. It was, it was cheap. But the funniest thing about all of this is that this has happened before. All right, and then here we come from the angle. Oh my goodness! Totoro. And then we got a Totoro from our uh, weekend little expedition there. I could hold it like this. Yep. Picked it up at Retro Emporium in Kenton. I'll show you some more stuff about Retro Emporium later on in this video. It's a squish. It's a squishy <laughs> Totoro. All right, very cool. What do you got? Now watch this. This is gonna be something fancy. I are. I also got a plushie. Yeah, tell me who that one is. It's actually, you guessed it, from a video game. You know, the only thing I talk about on this channel. It's from Delta. Now, what's the character's name? Ralse. Ralse, huh? Yes, it is a f very fluffy boy. Ten out of ten would would. Yes. Would <laughs> okay. yes. So, Would yes. Purchase more. All right. Yeah, I was interesting to see. Uh, this was purchased from um, another castle in Linwood, Washington. They happen to have the uh, the Ralse uh, plushie there, and I picked up some games from Linwood too. We'll, we'll talk about that here coming of up course. real quick. What else did you find? A Raymond keychain. Like I know he's over, over like. Oh my god, you got it! You got to buy and like pay for this, but I'm just over here like it's a cat. Do do it. Yep. I can hardly tell a resemblance. Well, they do the face. I don't know what it does. Oh, I don't know what the equivalent would be. Because, like, know. it just has, like, a little tiny nub. We love Raymond. You have Raymond in your uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, I haven't played in so long. Not me neither. Player Island! It's white, it's soft, it's fluffy. I like it's it. It's full of sand. What is that? Is it a beanie baby? I got Metopia. For the DS. Tell me about Metopia. It's a fighting RPG game, Yikes. but but from Tomodachi, like the people who create Tomodachi, they create Metopia with like so that then you could fight like the big boss of Sands and like all <laughs> that stuff. All right. Only because I didn't show off in my last pickup video, I had to get the Mario 3D All Stars um, pre-ordered through Best Buy a couple days before launch. It's shipped out. You're gonna be good. The day before it was launched. It's on the way, you'll be good. And then Friday, the day of the launch, I get an email saying there's been a change and a delay, and now you're not gonna get it till Monday. So um, I went to Target, and they happen to have it on the shelf. So <laughs> this is my Target one, and then this is my Best Buy one. That was still uh, in shipment. Um, I have an extra, um, I'll probably give it away or something like that. These are not rare by any means. I keep on seeing these pop up in like the, the Facebook marketplace and eBay and stuff like that. It's like, dude, they're on shelves right now. Yes, they're going to be available for a limited time, but they are not limited. 
uh, I'm holding literally two of them right now. So it's, <laughs> I got one for myself and then one for a giveaway or a con. We'll do something with it later on. We'll see about that. Oh, and really quickly too, uh, Lana Bean in the last video sent that Mega SG, that analog uh, Genesis system. And then um, just recently she also sent the adapter to let you play uh, Sega Master System games on your Mega SG. And I love my Sega Master System. So thank you uh, for this. I appreciate it. So this is the trip to Seattle summarized. Um, a couple weeks ago, Lily and I, along with my mom, we went to North Bend, we went to Tweed's Cafe, which is the Double R Diner from Twin Peaks. We sat there, we had cherry pie. I mean, you, I bought a cherry pie to go. You had the pancakes and all that. I and had chocolate. And the chicken fried steak. It was a wonderful experience. Loved that restaurant. And then that's when I was like, well, because I took Lily, uh, next time I go, I'll take Leo. So. Uh, Leo and I went to uh, Seattle, had a great time, hit up a couple of uh, friends along the way. Didn't go to Seattle proper. For some reason, it was like super, super busy, but hit up a couple of stores along the way. Um, I, I got some pickups from those stores along the way. The fast forward to the story is once we're all said and done, we're on our way home. That's when my alternator decided to go out and I'm stuck on the side of the freeway for a few hours, waiting for the tow truck to get there to drag me to Issaquah. And then we have to spend the night at a Motel 6. <laughs> in Issaquah hey, because the very next day good. I was a bundled ball of nerves and then I'm just over here just having a swell and time. yeah so I was just like I just gotta get home I just gotta get home and we finally made it home and that was uh that was literally this morning this morning was us waking up at a motel six going to the place to say like I know we don't have a schedule but man we were on the side of the road I still got a ways to drive I gotta get home man and they're like we'll squeeze you in they fixed everything so I'm telling you my buddy um my buddy Calvin at the Firestone in Issaquah shout out to you buddy so before the video games on with the food one loaf of pumpkin bread, two loaf of pumpkin bread. This is from my buddy Candy. Uh, you may know uh, Candy from Candy's Game Shrine. You may know her from having the virtual girl. It's a virtual boy, but pink. And it says virtual girl on it. And also loves to bake, like I do. I love to cook, she loves to bake. I think she also likes to cook too, I don't know. But she had this pumpkin bread. And I was like, dude, if you're if you're selling, I'll buy some. So I got a, a milk chocolate pumpkin bread and a, a, a butterscotch pumpkin bread. I thought butterscotch and pumpkin would sound good together. So here's this, that's for me. Uh, but she even uh, included a few random weird trinket candy thingies like this, this, like, like this. Along with Metopia, stopped by another castle in Linwood, Washington. Uh, Linwood, fantastic, I love the area there. Love the H Mart, it's like a Korean grocery store and they have everything that you need there. Um, and they had a few things, in fact, a few PlayStation VR games I didn't have yet, including Zone of Enders. I had the demo, but I never had the full game and they had it there for a great price. Uh, the A Train Experience, or the A Train Exp. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> This was a this was a limited run games release, and the cool thing with another castle is they are a limited runs game carrier. So when you see a game on pre order, yes, pre order it. So make sure that you have it. But if you miss out on it, you skip it. You slept over that weekend. You, something else was going on. You forgot to pre order it. You didn't grab one. There's a chance. Down. There's a chance that they might have it. And there's a couple of stores in the area. Pink Girl is another one, um, and another castle is one that they have. They have. Um, they have limited run games there. And I, I, I missed out on the pre-order the first time around, or I missed out on the, you know, the, the order for limited run games, but I have it now. So um, I know nothing about it, but happy to check it out. And then this game just came out um, from Perp Games, and I was super excited to see this, because I thought it was like a UK exclusive, but here it is on the shelf um, at a store, and it's called Budget Cuts, and I'm super looking forward to this. So you're going to see me stream this and these on my Twitch channel. So make sure you uh, follow me on Twitch, and you will see some VR goodness Especially looking forward to this one. This one looks super cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It's, all, it's like robot the VR stealth game uh, with robots and stuff. And along with limited run games, this game here, uh, man, I was so excited to check this out and so excited to see that they just had it on the shelf. Um, it's definitely a throwback to the Kunio style uh, beat em ups. So happy to uh, play this and happy to check this out. This is going to be awesome. Looking forward to it. We stopped by Retro Emporium in Kent, Washington. It's not just a game store. They have games and other retro stuff there. Um, I do have a store tour on here that I just did. And if you missed out on it, you can check out the card. And you can also check out a link. Oh, wait, wherever the card is. And you can um, check out a link in the description. It's like, oh, here's here's what the store looks like. But here's a few things I picked up, including the shirt. They also have like retro candy there. So uh, remember these growing up. Now, when I was younger, these used to have have a red tip to them. They don't anymore, uh, but you know, still fun to see things like this. I didn't even know they still made Tartan Tinies. They came in a box when I was growing up, but I was like, man, this what a throwback. And then I love Beetlejuice, got the Zagnut, 
totally worth it. Buck fifty nine, sure. It's actually, and this is actually a really good candy bar. It's just one of those things you don't see on store shelves very often. So if you happen to be in Kent, Washington, for any reason, check out Retro Emporium again. Link in the description. Um, you can see a quick little store tour of what they have there. They have like you know, like not just not just video games and retro games and stuff, but they also have like DVDs and VHS and like toys and action figures. They have all kinds of cool stuff. And I think it's pretty. Cool. They have two year old adventure books there. Come on. Um, on my way through from Kent to North Bend is the town of Renton, Washington. My, my buddy Emilio, Steve, uh, holding it down at uh, D-Pad Gaming. D-Pad has everything you're looking for. I'm a huge fan of that store. Um, they've actually held swap meets there in the past. And I just stopped by to say hi. I wasn't planning on buying anything. And I was like, well, I'm going to come through. I want to say hi to Emilio. Hi to Steve. I, I, love, I love the crew there at D-Pad. And I was talking to, the, to uh, Emilio. I was like, I'm looking at him, and I look over here. And I'm looking at him, and I'm looking over here. It's like, is that's that's legit, right? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I, ha I have two of them. I was like, well, man, I'll, I'll buy one of them right now. The uh, Dreamcast keyboard. I've always wanted to play Typing of the Dead. I have Typing of the Dead. I've never had a keyboard. So now I can actually play Typing of the Dead. It's it's like a, it's a, it's a zombie game, but instead of shooting at him with a gun, you have to uh, type as fast as you can on the uh, Dreamcast keyboard. You're so. typing. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be rocking at this. Well, I'm not I'm not great at typing. I'm great at typing fast and then hitting the, the delete key a bunch of times because I keep on misspelling stuff. <laughs> and, there's, and I promise you there's not going to be any spell check on this game either. So I'm, I'm looking forward to checking out Typing of the Dead, finally. And, and there's still one left as far as uh, filming this video. So if you need one for yourself, D-Pad will have it for you, man. We have a note. The note reads as follows. Hey, John, I've seen your post on Twitter that you were bummed about missing with your Tasty Cakes this year. That's right, because I was planning on going to too many games in Philadelphia, home of Tasty Cakes. We don't have Tasty Cakes here in the Northwest. So I sent out a little uh, Philly care package for you and your family. Uh, my mom and I have, uh, appreciate your children and the videos and uh, all that you do and, the, and supportive of LGBT and autistic people. I hope you enjoy the treats. Sincerely, Will Ross, an autistic viewer, an autistic viewer. So, uh, Will, um, I appreciate it so much so that the chocolate bells did not make this video. That's how quickly they were gone. As soon as they saw them, they were gone. They were out. It's so, okay. Well, there's plenty more to choose from here because he also sent over some of the cupcakes. These are good. Thank you, Will. Oh, going back to the butterscotch. I'm telling you, is butterscotch not the best flavor in the world? Seriously, Honestly, if there's not. like if there's like pancakes, it's like here's pancakes, strawberry pancakes, eh, chocolate pancakes, overdone, butterscotch pancakes. You have Gross. my attention and my grossness. <laughs> that I'll have yours. Uh, anything butterscotch is good by me. This is a tasty cake. It's funny, I don't even like uh, hard alcohol, but I love the the flavor of butterscotch. As a kid growing up, the little butterscotch circle things that you like the little hard candies, I didn't realize it's supposed to be like an alcoholic flavor. It's just like butterscotch. It's because it's called butterscotch. No, it's to drink. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, oh, look at these peanut chews. I've, I've seen these before. We have a store in town that carries these every once in a while, along with other stuff from the same company. So, um, but these not as much. And thank you for this. I'm, I'm curious to try these. I hope I have a dentist appointment coming up after all these. <laughs> and wait till you see the last thing. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me on this one? Oh, and we were talking about this a little bit too. Um, they have these strawberry baked pies. These are baked pies. Got a little got a little smushed in the shipping here. It's just the glaze stuck to the plastic. But these are going to be great. Strawberry strawberry baked pies. My goodness. Seasonal strawberry. about how it looks? It's going in my belly. It's going to put that right down there. Will, thank you so much, man. Thank you, Will. I appreciate you. And, uh, and, and appreciate you watching all that. We made a very quick stop to Trophy Cupcakes. Um, almost everything is gone. Uh, you got a big old box full of macaroons. They were gone almost immediately. You would hail them. They are good. The, uh, there was just like, you know, this 30 bucks. It's like, hum, 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 hum. But I shared. the cupcakes that they have at Trophy Cupcakes, uh, that's just so fun. And so good, too. They're all so good. Um, like I said, most of them are gone. Keeping that one um, just for now. It, I just wanted to show it off. I'm going to eat it now. So yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So now... Who wants a drink? We have Iron Brew. Is Iron it Brew. Beer? It is not beer. You'd think it would be, wouldn't you? Brewed in Scotland, a secret recipe since 1901. Toss it. 69p. 69p. Nice. So this is the, uh, I'm gonna use my Guitar Hero pint glass here. Orange. So this is something special. This is a Scotland soda. I'm really trying to avoid drinking soda, but I'm going to have some of this anyway, because I think this looks cool. I'm avoiding drinking soda. Let's have this really sugary soda. I know, isn't it the funniest thing in the world? <laughs> like, <laughs> this, this one will oh, do me I fine. I can't have like, any. Do you want the first drink? No. Oh, yes. yeah. First drink, all right. Ha -ha. I've, I've had it before. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. It's very bubbly, as you can tell by... Very carbonated. Bubbles. 
and it has a unique flavor. It's not orange flavored. It's not like orange Mountain Dew flavored. It is its own thing. It's, it is like an orange cola. And this is thanks to our friends from uh, British Bites. British Bites is in Puyallup, Washington, which is south of Seattle. M my wife especially, uh, Liverpool supporter. Uh, you know, we have BritBox, we watch all the British shows, love Royal Family, Alan Partridge. Uh, we just finished watching, um, what did we finish, just finish watching? Uh, like Father Ted and stuff like that. Love the British shows, and the more we watch those shows, and the more they eat stuff on there, excuse you, I'm leaving that in. The more we eat stuff on there, um, the more we're like, man, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. We gotta find what some. Is that? This place sells them, I'm telling you. So here's a couple of things I'm looking forward to trying. Like, this is Tango. I have a cherry and orange. Didn't even know they existed, but they had them on the shelf. And I'm not going to go through everything. But let me tell you, first hand experience, this place is amazing. The bag, never mind, the bag's from uh, Dentai Fun. We, we got some dumplings there. Uh, this, is, this is full of treats from this store here. I probably, I, I dumped, uh, it seemed like about between $150 and $200. Just full of like treats and bakeries. They do pasties there. They do like, so they have like a little cafe, a little deli, like a tea there. And then just on the shelf, they have things like penguins. They're always eating these on a, on royal family. So I was like, man, I gotta try some of those. They have them there, just on the shelf. These here, they used to sell in the United States. Yeah. We got a little. I'm leaving that one in too. <laughs> I get... They um, I, it's it's the honeycomb thing. I love this. I love these. Hello, puppet. These are good. I don't even like coffee, and I like these. Can never go wrong with caramello. Smarties are not like our Smarties. These are like their M and M's in a way, and way better, I think. Dude, the uh, trickle toffee. I'm telling you, got the double decker. This is all from the same store. This is all from uh, British Bites. And from what I understand, hold on, let me show you this. I've seen little bags before, but this is the big bag. This is this is the walkers, and uh, look, look, look at this. Day. Care for a polo. Got the hobnobs, a classic. Um, I'm going to open this right now. This is called the Curly Whirly. I'm opening this up because if you were born, like if you were a child in the 70s, let's just put it that way. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess your age or anything like that. This is called the Curly Whirly. Remember the marathon bar? It's the same thing. Is it toffee? Oh, there's a caramel inside. Yo, come on, Jammy Dodgers, are you kidding me? Dude, white buttons. <laughs> I love it. Got hula hoops. Jern loves these. This is like the bubblegum flavored millions. It's like this little bubblegum oh, candy toffee. This, this little bubble. It's good. It's just, it's like, it's just, it's like bubblegum that doesn't turn into bubblegum. It's weird. And the best part about all this stuff from British Bites is they order on, you can order online. They, they'll actually deliver it now. I didn't know you could do that. Cool to go there. If you can't make it to Piala for any reason whatsoever, um, they do ship. So make sure you check out. I'll link, leave a link in the description below, at least to their Facebook page. All the information is right there. Um, and you'll see my great recommendation there because um, the, the owner, I mean, you know, the, the owner and I just started talking about, you know, British stuff, and then we all started talking about video game stuff. Um, and it turns out her and her husband and their kids are huge gamers, and they all have Animal Crossing, and they're all playing the Switch, and she grew up with the NES. I was like, man, you got a customer for life now. That's good news for me. So I'm still going to support the show. I'm still going to support the uh, place in person. But if you can order, man, that's even easier for me, you know? And what I really like about their bathrooms is that literally, like, it's themed, like, all of Doctor Who. So, like, it's like the, uh... Oh, the, uh, the TARDIS. Yeah. Honestly. Did you take pictures? No, I didn't take pictures. Picture. I did not take pictures of the bathroom. All right, Aww. come on. You'll have to experience that Come on. Yourself. This little the coconut macaroon uh, pie here. Are you kidding me on this thing? Called Millionaire Shortbread. Oh my goodness, this is not going to last the night. It'll taste to like a million bucks. <laughs> I have seen so many shows with these. The Cherry Bakewells. This could be the greatest invention known to man. No. Wow, Lily. Are you <laughs> kidding me on this? <laughs> you haven't even tried it. It's good. It's Trust so good. Trust me, it's it's so good. How about it's video games? Good. Well, you got me there. You can eat these while playing video games. I can hack I can hack a British video game to have those instead of mushrooms or something. I don't know. The funny thing with this box is when I opened it up, it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so here's this. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells good too. <gasps> yes! It comes with a note, there's other stuff in this box. Hold on. Oh, what is, is this Hallmark? Look at how many words. Look at this handwriting. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish That's I had that. That's way too neat for us. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Dear John, I wanted to send you a care package as a thanks for all you do. I am not a gamer anymore as I quit. 
No. no. Um, but along with getting rid of my television movies and um, the focus on painting and uh, printing. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. He goes off and he says some nice things and he was like, um, hey, I've included gifts for the entire family. The video game items are meant to be for you. Uh, the books for my wife. I wanted to be surprised. Well, we'll just, we'll, we'll just, we'll go through it and then we'll divvy it up uh, according to the, uh, for my wife. The Exorcist. Aww. A book. Mom would like that. Book. She would like that. This is, this is actually, she, uh, she loves... She loves this. We, come on. Oh, there we go. I could probably even do one more snap than that. Hey, that looks pretty good, actually. Thank you. Oh, here's another book for uh, Michelle. Uh, the Ocean at the End of the Lane. Fun. A novel. Aww. So these are some fountain pens. Um, here is... Oh. <laughs> How was that? Oh, beautiful. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> like that? Is that good? <laughs> Love it. Put that up there. There's magic tricks for everyone. Ooh. I like one. Uh oh, including a deck of cards, which we always we always love having cards. Yeah, so uh, the the fake thumb magic trick. Dude, there's some, there's some fun magic tricks in this thing. The extra invisible. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some. Or maybe we'll do a magic trick video later on. I don't want to spoil the uh, I don't want to spoil the secrets already here. Guess what? Yo-yos. Oh, I wonder who that's for. Lily loves yo-yos. And there's something for my eyes only. But Joshua, thank you. Thank you so much, Joshua. This is this is fun stuff. My wife's going to love these books, I'm sure. Lily has the yo and the, the, the pillow. He said the video game items were for me. So I just want to throw that out there for the record, that he said for me that the video game... <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll, we'll at least share it anyway. And always, never an obligation. I do have my mailing address in the description below. Can I try the hat on? On that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and attention. Uh, we will be back at another time with another unboxing video. And um, I thank you for watching. Always new videos coming out. I can wear a hat too. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you. Peace out. Peace.